Good morning, fish peoples. Uh, <clears throat> on this uh, 75 gallon tank, I hooked my wet dry filter back up to this uh, because I got two enormous goldfish in here. Ugh. Anyway, uh, and I had uh, turned a CPR overflow box into a Herbie drain, and I'll leave a, a link to that. And, well, it's already mucked up. Only a f it's only been there a few months. It's really, really, it's nasty. So I took it down to to clean it, and it takes a couple of days to clean those things to do it right. So I needed something on here to keep the wet dry the filter running. So I got out my ADP Aqualink overflow box, and I had done a video on this previously about how this is a bad choice for a, a reef tank because there's so much the surface agitation in a reef tank that it causes air to accumulate in the U-tube. Well, this is not a reef tank. This is a, a freshwater tank, and it, it doesn't have excessive uh, the surface agitation. And you see it's working fine. It's working great. It's been here now for days. Uh, there's no air accumulation in the U-tube, and it's not really even that loud. Now, one of the things I noticed is I was running my uh, the JBAL DCP3000 return pump. I was running it at 50% power when I had the uh, other overflow box on here, the CPR. But it would, uh, at 50% power, it overwhelms this one. Not really sure why, but it did. So I had to turn it down to 30%, which is okay. It's running fine. I'm not having any problems. It's keeping the water clean. But you know, one of the advantages of this is that you don't have to have that continuous, the flow. So, you know, you can have a, a, a power head to do that for CPR, which is why what I do. But for this, you don't need nothing. Uh, you just, you siphon that YouTube out and, and it works. And there it goes. So, I don't know. I might leave it here. It's really easy to use. Anyway, I'll see you later.